convey, I know it's a complex subject, because I get lectures in the bath about this, about the atomic structure of amino acids, and we go from there, you know, and I'm, I didn't even do science in school. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's a good listener. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> so, uh, but, but what I've, gra I've got the I've got the hang of it. But you know, 20 years later. So, uh, what? I mean, so I know it's a complex subject. But can you bring it down to a nutshell? Because a lot of people think detoxification is about purging, which I know it's a part of it. Hence the juicing and the coffee elements, in terms of getting stuff out and getting rid of stuff. But most of what you talk about is rejuvenation, and you talk about that at cell level. What do you actually, you know, what's the, what's the fundamental principle you're talking about, or the thing that has to happen, otherwise what you've just described can't? Okay, so fundamentally, if we go back to Dr. Gerson's words, he said he needed to build the energy capacity of the cell. In modern terms, that means we have to build the oxidative potential. We have to get the cells to a point where they can receive oxygen. What Dr. Gerson discovered was that if he put in a program that was no salt, very high in vegetables with additional potassium, you can cause a flushing at cell level and it starts to remove built up sodium, built up water and built up toxins. Now if you see sodium as an enzyme inhibitor, in, imagine if you want to preserve your um, whatever it is, your olives, you'll put them in brine, which is salt. Salt will stop oxidation of that food. So if the cell has too much sodium in it, which it gets when it stops to use oxygen properly, or if there's a potassium deficiency because we're eating too much salt and not enough fruit and vegetables, it starts this very slow, erosive, um, situation where the cell starts to function less and less optimally and at a certain point the cell can no longer do its jobs, it will become tox toxic and it's at that point that you see the chronic disease. So by changing the um, environment within the cell you're actually rebuilding that energy capacity and that's fundamentally what we're doing with detoxification. It's not the modern understanding of liver cleansing, bowel cleansing, lymph cleansing, kidney cleansing. This is going to the householders, the cells, and saying, would you like to put your rubbish out so we can then take it to the liver or take it to the kidneys for detoxification? It's not about cell needs oxygen, let's just use oxygen drops or whatever else is on the market, because the cell is in a point where it's not even going to take the oxygen up. Unless the potassium is in the cell, it's not happening. There's no oxidative potential. The difficulty with this um, program is that unless you get the body to build that momentum where it is flushing that out, nothing happens. So it's not a 24-hour fix, it's not a seven-day fix, it's not a three-month fix. It actually has to be a consistent thing over a period of time. And depending on what level you've come at, will depend on how long that process takes.